Ableton Live is very efficient. It doesn't use up much of your computer's processing power. But to make sure it's as efficient as possible, there are a few things we need to consider. Computers working with audio introduce what's known as latency. Latency is the delay between sound going into your computer and sound going out of your computer. A high latency is distracting when performing and it will throw you off when performing with your instrument or voice. So we want to make sure latency is as low as possible. At the same time, the lower the latency, the harder your computer has to work to process the audio in time. How hard your computer works is called CPU load. So we have to strike a balance between latency and our CPU usage. We can set how much latency we want with Ableton Live in the preferences menu under audio. Latency depends on two things, sample rate and buffer size. When sound goes into a computer, it has to be chopped up into lots and lots of individual numbers. Each of these individual numbers is called a sample. We'll talk in more detail about how digital audio works in lesson 1.1.5. The sample rate is how many samples per second the computer makes. The higher the sample rate, the lower the latency because each sample takes less time. This does, however, make your CPU work harder. For now, it's easiest to work in a sample rate of 44,100. This is the sample rate that CDs work at. Buffer size is how long you let the computer take to process signals before it comes out of your speakers. High buffer sizes will add latency, low buffer sizes will reduce latency. Buffer sizes that are too small will cause distortion. The CPU cannot process everything in time, so it starts creating glitches. If you can get your buffer to below 128 samples, then this is ideal. We can see how much latency live makes by looking at where it says overall latency. For instrumentalists and vocalists who are performing live, a latency of less than 10 milliseconds is great. If you have an older computer and you're playing a lot of audio clips at the same time, you might get what's called a disk overload. And this means that your hard drive can't process all of the audio in time, and so the sound starts glitching and dropping out. In the top right corner, a square with the letter D in it will flash orange when the hard drive overloads. If you're having problems with the hard drive overloading, try loading some audio clips to RAM by selecting the audio clip and in the clip view, select RAM. This takes the clip out of your hard drive and puts it into your RAM, which is faster, but remember that you have limited RAM in your computer to run applications. A good point to make here is that you should close all applications that you don't need to be running when you are wanting to optimize your computer for a live performance. This way, the maximum amount of CPU resources are reserved for live to do its job. It also helps to make sure to have a bit of free space on your hard drive. Ideally about 30% of your hard drive should be free in your optimized setup. Solid state disks, or SSDs as they are known, are now becoming more affordable and common, and they do have a significant effect on the running of Ableton Live's processors. Another easy way to make sure Live is running at its best is by going into your preferences under audio, clicking input config and turning off any inputs that you aren't using. And do the same thing for your output config. There are also lots of third-party plugins out there that you can run in live. And while these can be useful for achieving unique effects that aren't available from any of live's effects, be careful about using lots of third-party plugins. All of live's effects have a very small CPU load, whereas third-party plugins often use more CPU, and in rare cases, they can actually crash live. Optimizing your computer for Ableton Live makes performing and making music with Live easier and more musical. If you can get your Live set to run at a minimum latency without any CPU or disk overloads, you will have even more fun playing Live.